When all is good, and life as well, the last thing you may think of is a nuclear attack. What will you do? Step 1. Prepare. Preparation is key. Always stock on non-perishable food, canned goods, and plenty of water. You will need this when waiting several days in a shelter. As soon as you are packed, place this bag in a safe area so that when disaster strikes, you're ready for the worst. Always be aware of your surroundings. Locate any possible high-risk areas. These can include capitals, cities, or any densely populated areas. If you are near any of these locations, plan on moving out or find a fallen shelter in the near area. So when it strikes, you know what to do. Step 2. Take action. If you are outside one mile of the blast, then you have a chance of survival. Any closer, you'll burn like a demon on the 4th of July. So find shelter. Any solid wall or object will help protect you from the initial blast. Now get as close as possible and lie on the ground. Place your hands on your head and cross your legs. Finally, prepare for the blast. As the shockwave passes, stay put and watch for falling objects and debris. Step 3. Find shelter. Now that you survived the initial blast, you have to find shelter from the radiation. If given enough time, get in a vehicle and drive perpendicular to the wind. This will maximize the distance between you and the radioactive fallout. As soon as you're in the shelter, get rid of any exposed clothes. There are three types of radioactive particles. Alpha, beta, and gamma. The alpha and beta particles can attach to clothing, so removing them is your best option. However, gamma rays are much more powerful and can penetrate through most non-dense materials. So grab any thick, dense, or heavy objects in order to block out these gamma particles. Stack them between you and the outside as much as possible to avoid radiation sickness. Step 4. Wait it out. Now that you're protected, you will need to stay here for several days. Remember that bag we packed? Oh no, you have radiation sickness. What do you do? Step 5. Find help. Soldiers and rescue teams will be on the move at least 24 hours after the blast. If you know there might be help nearby, it's worth the risk. You will die without immediate medical attention. Follow these steps so that when disaster comes your way, you or your loved ones can survive a nuclear attack.